So, secret Betafly 4.3 features. Let me call my friend who knows everything about secrets. Hey, I told you not to use this number. Connection encrypted. Is this a secure line? Yes. You want the secrets? Yes, please, all of them. I can share them, but you can't tell anyone. Here we go. Huh? What's that? Who's there? Oh! Uh <coughs> If you happen to know all of these secret features, congratulations, here is your trophy. If you find this video nice and useful, like and subscribe. No. For your convenience, there is a table of contents with a link to every feature. And of course, let me know down in the comments if I missed any secrets. Secret number zero is on Betaflight Configurator landing page right here. What is that? Yes, finally, official Betaflight Discord server. It was kinda quietly created in October 2021. Now there are only about 400 members here. Of course, feel free to join, share your experience, help other people and get help for yourself. Next feature is a flight counter or a pack counter. Most of my friends are already using it and it's pretty nice. Sometimes we all hear something like I put 200 packs yesterday. And now you can ask, is it according to your pack counter on OSD? To set it up, you need to open CLI and type set stats min arm time s equal. And then you type the number of seconds. The flight counter will increment once your time in the air exceeds the number you have chosen. I usually prefer something like 40 or 50 seconds. Then you press enter and save and enter again. You can choose your own number, but if you set it too low, then the counter will go up even if you just arm and crash right away. I don't think this should be counted as a flight. Now on OSD tab, let's scroll all the way down and activate total flights. You can also activate it in the post flight statistics. There is also fly time total, how many minutes and hours your quad spend in the air, and also if you have GPS flight distance total. But there are more secrets inside of this secret. Let's say you forgot that weird CLI command and now you're in the field flying and your counter always shows zero and you are like, damn. Don't panic, open OSD menu, features, stats, and then set this CLI parameter right here. Don't forget to save and exit. In the same menu in features, you can reset your statistics if you need. This could be useful, for example, at the beginning of a month or a big event and at the end you want to know how many packs did you fly. A small warning, this statistics is actually a part of CLI. So if you copy your div from one quad to another, you will also copy your flight counter. So you have to be watching for that. This feature is not really new for 4.3, you can also do that in 4.2 using different CLI command. But threshold is hardcoded to 15 seconds. In 4.2 you also cannot bring the counter to your in-flight OSD screen. And also there was a little bug that counted your total mode time. Next, sort of a hidden feature, is background for your OSD menu. It is a very nice feature by Mr. eTracer65. To activate background for your OSD menu, you can use this CLI command, set OSD menu background, and then you select your color. Let's say I like black. And then save. And now, once you open your OSD menu, it will look like that. Way easier to navigate, isn't it? Also, you don't really need to remember that CLI command and you can set it all up right here in OSD submenu. This setting is a part of canvas mode, which means that, for example, HD0 could use it too. Maybe they do already, I'm not sure. The next hidden feature is for Smart Audio VTXs. If you are using Smart Audio VTX, 
then right here on VTX tab, the configurator will tell you which Smart Audio version your VTX is. I don't have any Smart Audio VTXs with me now, but it will look something like that. In 4.2, that was a little bit of hassle. When you get a new VTX, you have to figure out which Smart Audio it is using, so that you could download correct version of VTX table. So you had a choice, either trust manufacturer label, or you could figure out Smart Audio version by yourself using black box and sensor stuff, but that wasn't very comfortable. In 4.3, not only you have presets, for some of the VTXs, but also you can verify the manufacturer's smart audio label right here on VTX tab. This is useful for some of the VTXs, for example, like Rush Tiny Tank, because some of these VTXs are smart audio 2.0, some of these VTXs are smart audio 2.1, and in this case, even presets are not gonna help you if you get an old VTX. So you have to figure out the Smart Audio version by yourself and pretty much always verify it by yourself before you apply a preset. The next secret feature. Everybody knows about presets in 4.3, but not everybody noticed that two little buttons right here at the top, save backup and load backup. Remember how in medieval ages you had to use CLI to save or load your beef? your current quad configuration. Well, now this is future. Save Backup creates a text file with your current div. And Load button can load it up for you. If you accidentally load a file from the wrong Betaflight version, for example from 4.2, you will be prompted with some errors and then it will be up to you to decide what you want to do. You can cancel or you can still just save it anyway. And these two buttons not only work for Betaflight 4.3, but also for Betaflight 4.0, 4.1, and 4.2. Maybe even for 3.5, which was the best Betaflight version. No, it was not. No! Maybe in future these buttons will be moved to somewhere, for example, setup page, but for now they're on presets tab. So enjoy! Next on the line is Configurator Virtual Connection Mode. It is hidden right here on the Options tab, Enable Virtual Connections Mode, and it is disabled by default. If you enable it, you will be able to see Virtual Mode in the Port Selector drop-down. With this feature, you don't need a flight controller if you just want to explore Configurator or you want to show someone some features. Of course, some stuff, for example, like CLI or motor remapping are not gonna work for you in this mode because there is no real flight controller to communicate with, but it's a pretty nice feature. The next hidden feature is disabling parts of the black box data for recording. It can help you to save some memory on your black box data chip and record longer flights with only the data that you need. There are a bunch of CLI commands for that, but you don't need to remember them, thanks to SugarK, to Mr. SugarK, who prepared a preset for us. So you just open Presets tab and search for black box. And here we go. You can disable a bunch of stuff here if you need. Check something, click Pick, Save and Reboot. And if you ever need to bring it back, there is a next preset, Reset Black Box Settings without any options, you just pick it and you're back to defaults for black box. The next feature is not very hidden, but it's pretty nice. It is for SPI receivers. So if you have a flight controller with built-in SPI receiver, for example like FreeSky, or it can work with RedPine, then you don't need to go to CLI anymore to bind it. The bind button is right here on the receivers tab. And it works pretty good with my tiny whoop. In Betaflight 4.3 there are a lot of changes in filters in comparison with Betaflight 4.2, but this change I think is sort of a hidden. Dynamic notch filter, notch count. This setting existed also in Betaflight 4.2. But there is a huge difference. Only in Betaflight 4.3 this setting allows to create separate notch filters that can automatically track 
separate noise frequencies. Very good, very good. In 4.2 only one noise peak was tracked and multiple notch filters were just stacked around this single noise peak to make the filtering stronger. For the end of this video I will give you two bonus features that are not Betaflight 4.3 specific, but I think some people are still missing them even in Betaflight 4.2. The first one is automatic voltage calibration on power and battery tab. You know, like sometimes you get a new flight controller and the voltage measurements are way off and then you have to go to power and battery tab and adjust the scale and divider like manually. Well, you can click calibration and put measured voltage right here, which you measure with your voltmeter. Let's say, I don't know, 13 volts and click calibrate and then apply calibration. And uh, you can see these numbers were changed automatically for you. Pretty nice. The last feature of this video is mainly for racers. You can set up your OSD timers to show not just seconds, but hundreds of a second. And I think this is pretty nice in cases you need to estimate your lap time watching your DVR. Of course, you can always count frames in your DVR or you can just use timing in your DVR file. But depending on the quality of your DVR module, such calculations can be way off from the real life. The OSD timer is also not ideal because for whatever reason, some flight controllers cannot measure the time precisely, but I use Fox here and it is very precise. That is it. See you in the next video if I'm not lazy. Listen, this is what you're gonna do next. You're gonna like and you're gonna subscribe. Do it! Now just one of my Freedom Spec DVRs from our home field in Houston. Andy's place. Legendary Andy. I thought I'm gonna run success after Costa Rica championship but still decided to run a couple more weeks on freedom spec it is nice so enjoy it I see you rolling up over black Cadillac high heel boots and a sexy body full of tats baby's bad oh baby's hella bad after her there ain't no coming back wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me turn it up a few degrees my imagination of her body gets the best of me oh god she's such a tease bitten lips bruised knees I'm addicted to her need her touching me cause she got a bad little waist and we tearing down this place off the liquor that we chase Got some amigos to the face, baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste, and I'll show you how I make Everything just fade away, cause she's like Sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby, can't get a play I feel like an addict, cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine Show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs,